All right, welcome to Clean It Up 3. So we've made some serious progress on this data set. We have read in our data. We've learned how to use all kinds of summary type functions to um, get an idea of what we're dealing with in the data set. Um, we have used some um, functions that allow you to clean all the names of your columns automatically or rename certain things. Um, we have learned how to sort the data using a range and to filter it according to certain conditions and to combine those two things. And last time we learned how to put group by and summarize together to get some more detailed summary statistics. All right, what's next? Next, we're going to make new variables. So um, let's put in a new heading for. OK, so first up, I want to show you how to create new variables in your data by splitting or separating components of, um, of data that is in character format, right? So if we take a, um, actually we might want to run our script all the way up to here to get our objects back into our environment, right? So you do that by clicking the source button. It goes chug, 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 and gives us everything we had at the end of last time. Um, all right, so if we glimpse the clean beaches data, you can see here that a number of our variables are characters. That just means combinations of um, letters and numbers. Um, now, I think we noted a couple of sessions ago that R has mistakenly um, parsed our dates as characters. Um, and if we were actually wanting to do something like calculate changes in time, um, that would be a really real problem, and we would need to use the Lubridate package to get these dates into a consistent format so that we could work with them. For now, we're going to leave the Lubridate package for several lessons in the future, and we're just going to capitalize on the fact that R has made a mistake and pretend that these dates are characters that we can split apart to make new variables. All right, so let's do that. We have our clean beaches data and we can pipe it into a function from dplyr called separate. And what separate um, is expecting first is what your data is. We don't need to put that um, first up because we're piping um, the clean beaches into this function so it already knows what the data is. The next thing it's um, asking for is the column that we want to separate. So let's start by separating our date column. And then the next thing that it's um, expecting is what we want to separate our columns into, into our column into. So we want to separate into a um, our date into three separate columns. And we can tell it um, what we want our columns to be using the C function that creates a vector. So we want one column that is called day, and one column that is called month, and one column that is called year. All right, now you can sometimes, if you're, um, if you're, the way, what you want it to separate on is um, unusual, you can say, I want to separate by whatever um, is the place you want it to break the character, but it does pretty well automatically guessing that the slash is what we want to separate by in this case. All right, so let's try that. Oh, we can't really see because it's off the page. Let's make a new thing called test date in our environment so that we can see that more easily. All right, so when we open this test date thing, we can see that our date column is gone and it's been replaced with day, month, year. Now, sometimes you want the original character vector to remain. 
And if you if that's what you want, then you can just say add an extra argument that says remove equals false. And let's do that again. If we have a look now. We've we've got eleven variables, and our date column is still there, but it has also added day, month, and year. All right, so that's the separate function. Now unite. Um, is the opposite of separate. So if you want to put two, the data from two character vectors together into a single um, uh, variable, then you can use unite. So let's um, let's do that. We'll take clean beaches and we'll pipe it into a unite function. And again, it is wanting um, the data, which we've already told it because we're piping it in. Um, it wants the data and the column we want to create. And when it says dot, 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 um, this is the column we want to create. And when it says dot, 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 it's like a selection of columns that we want to combine. So um, let's say we want to create a column that puts it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do this with this data set, but just for illustration purposes, let's put council and site together. So we want to create a new column called council site. And we want to create that column by putting the council and site columns together. Um, all right, let's see what that does. Ah. Here we are, look, it's done it right there, right? So um, now rather than having separate columns for council and site, we have a single column that has put those together. Much the same if you wanted to keep both the council and site columns separately and add a combined column, you could do that by just putting remove equals false. And if we run that line again, now you can see that we have both our new combined column, but also the council and the site are, um, are still there as well. All right, so that's character um, vectors, separating them out into multiple columns or combining them together um, into a single column.